And if we look at what the road to wealth looks like for active income, and by wealth, I don't mean millionaire, billionaire, gazillionaire. I just mean, well, what does it look like, right? And just to give a rough outline of where you're trying to get to at the end down here, let's run through this really quickly. So as a software developer, you've got to start off somewhere. You start off getting a junior position in a company. It might take you two to three years to do uh, enough work to get promoted up to a sort of mid-level developer. With that comes a little bit of a pay rise. And all the time here, we're trying to battle that lifestyle creep where you say, oh, I've got a pay rise. I can now afford a slightly better car or a slightly the better apartment and all that is true all the way through this and as you grow older as well uh, your costs are likely to sort of go up you're gonna have kids and you have to pay for education and a few other uh, things as well so there's always that upward trajectory that you've, you've keen to get on to provide the best for you and your family and that's like prevalent throughout all of this so we've had a junior position a couple of years to get promoted to mid another couple of years to be promoted to senior dev and then once you've had a couple of years experience in senior dev, then you've got to pick a route after that. You could either be a hands-on technical manager, you could be a manager that's hands-off, you could go down the freelancing route, you could go down a consultant route. But if we stick with the career side of it, the career dev would then be going to manager and then potentially be offered uh, bonuses and potentially after that onto sort of directorship and some shares and equity so realistically, it's gonna take you at least 10 years to go from junior all the way up here, and more likely 15 years plus to, to make your way up and uh, go through the different roles and positions to get promoted all the way up to the point where you're getting large bonuses and shares that are gonna mitigate lifestyle creep and inflation. All right, so that's real to well for active income. What does it look like for passive income? So this is a 10 step process for building a micro SaaS app all the way from idea to exit. Uh, now, if you were just doing eBooks or courses or uh, templates or themes, it would be a lot simpler than this, um, but they tend to be sold for a one-off fee. Um, what I think you're really uh, should be aiming for is a leveraged subscription income that people will pay you every month or every year. Um, for the use of your app. So I have a separate video on these 10 steps, which runs through it in a little bit more detail. I'll link to that now. Um, but briefly, to, to build a Microsoft app, you've got to find a micro niche. So a really good one would be one that is emerging and growing, um, where there's not much software in there, there's people with problems that software can fix. And you find that micro niche, identify those problems within that niche, and then go around generating ideas for apps, you know, that can solve that problem or those problems. Validate those proposed uh, app ideas with that niche community, and that's very difficult to do. Um, and people will often say, "Yes, can you build that app that will really solve our problems?" But the only time you can truly know whether the, your uh, app is a great idea or not, and how well received it will be, is when you build that MVP and actually ask people to pay you money for the app. So we're gonna build an MVP, and as we're building it, we're gonna build up some pre-launch hype and get people excited about the launch of our MVP, and then we'll actually do the launch, and then before we then scale it up, hopefully we've had a successful launch, otherwise you're gonna go back to the drawing board and try and find some different ideas or even a different niche. Uh, but if it has been successful, we're gonna lay some foundations for scaling, so when we do actually scale up, we're not going to hit a load of unexpected turbulence. Um, and then we will go ahead and do the scaling and build it up and build up the subscription income uh, to a really good point where you can either just carry on with that as your sort of monthly income, which is great. Or, you know, quite often people sell and exit from that and go on to another project. They've got a different idea, another idea, maybe a different niche. Um, but those are the 10 steps um, to, to wealth or passive income. And because it's subscription income, uh, you're actually able to get a huge multiplier on the, the business valuation when you do come to sell and exit. And I'll have more videos on that in the future, how we value SaaS businesses and how I sold mine at full asking price within five hours. But yeah, that's what the Road to Wealth looks like for passive income. So I've got a question for you, and if you can just leave your answer in the comments. So now you understand what active income is and what passive income is, what is it that you're working under currently? Is it passive or is it active income? I suspect a lot of people actually, the majority will be working under active income, a full-time job or freelancing. Um, and then I want to ask you, what would you like to get into 
Is it you want to concentrate on active income and just scaling up through your career or increasing your rate and skills as you go? Or are you interested in passive income and really sort of being able to exponentially leverage your time invested? And if you want to learn more about Microsas, then I have this handbook on my website. So after I'd exited, I basically wrote down everything that I could uh, remember at a high level, uh, the different steps uh, involved in it. And for some reason, I thought I'll just give that away for free. So that's there on my website. It's 12 chapters long, 100 pages, um, giving you a high level overview all the way from idea to exit with examples of what happened to me. So. You can go and download that from the link below. And finally, if you're interested in Microsoft Passive Income, quitting your day job or Chrome extensions, then please hit the subscribe button because I'm gonna be producing more videos on all these topics in the coming weeks and months. So hopefully I'll see you around. Cheers for now.